Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, before we get into the content of this video, I wanna go ahead and pick the giveaway winner for one of the giveaway videos that I have going on. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my link to the video. Hit enter. Let's filter out duplicates. Get your comments. 36 unique comments, okay. And then start raffle. So here we go, let's see who's gonna win. Michael Desheny. I hope I pronounced your name right, but you are the winner. Dak Prescott is one of your favorite players. Right on, well I'm gonna look for a card, maybe two, maybe three and I'm gonna get that shipped out to you. So if you're watching this, Michael, you are the winner. Hit me up on Instagram. My name is C-Dubs Cards on Instagram, all one word. And let's work out the details. I can get your address and I'll get this shipped out. All right, if you guys wanna join another giveaway video that I have going on, sorry, another giveaway, then all you have to do is go to my channel and it's right here. The one right, right in the middle here. What? right here the wheel has spoken with the green background check it out it's called spin and rip and giveaway so you guys still have a chance to go check that out i'll be announcing the winner of that one on on october 3rd all right i'm gonna go ahead and switch the camera view so now i want to go ahead and get into the top 10 things that i like about collecting cards and i have a huge stack of cards that I'm just gonna kind of go through or scroll through as I'm talking about these items. So, item number one. The first item that I wrote down was actually the nostalgia of collecting cards. You know, I don't know if you guys know, but I know it might be hard to believe, but I'm 40 years old. I know I look a lot younger, you know, so don't worry about it. Um, but you know, when I started getting back into collecting, it definitely reminded me of what it was like you know, to collect cards, you know, back when I was a kid, you know, and even some of these cards are that I'll show later are items that I've got, you know, when I was younger. Um, so yeah, definitely the nostalgia of collecting cards, it's just fun. It's cool to do things that remind you of your childhood. And, you know, that's one of the, re the things that I wrote down. The second thing is Second thing that I picked was, I think it's pretty cool because you can actually stay connected to the sports that you like, whether it's basketball, football, kind of all year round if you are involved in collecting cards. I know there's other ways to stay connected, whether it's, you know, different websites or maybe other apps or different things like that. But this is just one of the things that I thought of when I came up with this list. Third is I think you actually get an opportunity to learn more about the sport, whether, like I said, whether it's basketball, football, baseball, hockey, you know, when you look at cards and you learn about cards, you also have a chance to check out the stats, you know, and you, it gives you a focus and the ability to focus on different players, maybe different parts of their game, maybe strengths, weaknesses. So I think it's definitely a way to learn more about the sport. Um, item number four, you know, nowadays collecting, it's not just a hobby, it's not just collecting, but it's also another avenue where you can actually invest, almost almost like the stock market. And some people, you know, may or may not be fans of that part of it. Um, you know, but it's definitely, it's a truth, it's a reality of the way collecting is seen now you know, the way people treat collecting, you know, I know there's people talk about flippers and, you know, people who buy cards to try to flip them to make profit, um, you know, but there's people who buy single cards and try to flip them to make profit. You know, there's also people who are really engaged in the sport and they, they look at different players um, and they say, hey, this player, they're young, they're a prospect, they have the ability they, they can grow in this part of their game. I think they're a good investment, so let's go ahead and get their card, you know, type of thing. So that's definitely an aspect of it. 
Um, number five, you know, ripping packs, you know, with the chance of pulling something awesome, you know, is obviously one of the things that I like about collecting cards. You know, you never know what you're going to get. It is, it is kind of, it can be seen as a gamble. You know, you just don't know what you're going to get. Um, you could get something good. You could get something not so good. Um, but that's just kind of the way it is, you know, um, but it's definitely a fun part of the, of the hobby. Uh, number six, collecting your PC. So what does that mean? Well, obviously, if you guys notice, as I go through these cards, the majority of these cards are Kobe cards. And if you didn't know, I'm a big Kobe fan. I'm a big Kobe collector. Um, so I definitely collect Kobe cards. And I collect them as one of my PCs for sure. Got all these same, same cards here. Um, so yeah, I think it's fun finding new cards, you know, that you want to add to your PC and you know, it, it's so easy nowadays. You can go online, you can go on eBay, you can connect with people at shows and have an opportunity to actually find those cards that you're looking for. Um, the other thing, number seven is you can actually set goals. So what does that mean? Well, what that means is, you know, a lot of people have different ways that they collect, you know, maybe they maybe they want to collect certain inserts like for example this one this is the dominance so maybe they want to collect this dominance um, insert for a particular player and there may be different parallels whether there's a silver a red a blue i know different years of prism they had different color parallels of cards um, so that's one example i did see another video um, where this guy was a huge huge kobe collector and he had a goal where he wanted to actually collect Kobe autograph cards and he wanted to spell out the logo the Lakers logo with the patches so the patches were actually the shape of each letter which I thought was pretty crazy but I thought it was cool um, so that's what I mean by setting goals so item number eight item number eight is it's just good to have a hobby I mean don't you guys agree I mean nowadays and, you know, it, it depends on how you view the world. But to be honest, sometimes there's just there can be a lot of things that are just negative. A lot of things that are distracting. So I think it's just good to have a hobby, something that you enjoy, something that you get joy from, you know, something that you um, and something that you like. And it, and it may not be the same thing that someone else likes, it may not be the same exact hobby of someone else, but it's something that you like, you know. Um, so item number nine, item number nine is really cool is you get to actually meet new people. You know, I've been able to build a lot of relationships, um, through this hobby over the past year. Um, you know, connecting with old relationships, building new relationships, whether that's meeting people at shows, um, or even lining up at, lining up at target, trying to get cards. Lining up at Target, trying to get cards and getting to know people in the line. You know, stuff like that. And, you know, you just it's just cool to actually build relationships where you have a common interest, you know, with other people. Um, so it's definitely a cool aspect of it. And the other thing about it is, you know, you get to know other people. And they may be into cards, but they may be into a different aspect of collecting cards. Maybe for them, they're big Kobe, I'm sorry, Pokemon fans. So you get to actually learn about other people's interests, other people's, um, what they like most about the hobby, you know? And it could be something different than what you're used to. Um, item number 10 is the last item um, that I want to talk about and... It's kind of similar to item number nine, but one thing that I've been actually been enjoying is just my YouTube channel because I get a chance to actually share with the community by building videos, you know, trying to make you guys laugh, trying to share just the, the enjoyment that I get out of the hobby, that I get out of, you know, finding cards, hunting for cards, you know, building my PC, you know, um, and, you know, hanging out with pops, you know. The machine, the machine. You guys remember Sasha? 
autograph card numbered. Um, but yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think about this list that I rattled off here. What is your favorite part of the hobby? What do you like most about the hobby? And maybe what do you what do you dislike most about the hobby? You know, add it in the comments of the video. We didn't get a chance to get through all these cards. I'm just gonna go really quick. Some autograph cards, older autograph cards that I have. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. C-dubs out.